So after installing AL Foundation and AL Core, uh, again, I just open the new scene, and then which is AL Latecast, and go to the Excel and create the uh, AL Session Origin and as well as AL Session. And click the AL Session Origin. We need to add the component first. Uh, just type the AL, and then you will see a lot of components inside over here. What we need over here is AL Plane Manager. And select AL Plane Manager. And go to the hierarchy again, right click, and Excel. You will see here AL Default Plane. Click it. And of course, you can just put it in there, or you also can make it to prefab. So I'm going to create the folder, the name with your prefab. I will make AL def default plane as a prefabs. Actually, I'm not gonna touch any visualizing right now, but yeah, I don't need it inside of the scene anymore. But here, uh, when you go to the AL plane manager, you will see it needs a plane prefab. So attach AL default plane into plane prefab. To do the uh, raycast, uh, we need to add, which is called uh, AL raycast manager. So if you scroll down again, you will see AL Latecast Manager. And after this, what we need to do is just a little bit of scripting. Create the folder, name is script. And here, I'm going to create C Sharp script. Name is AL Place, maybe AL Latecast Place. So let's open the C Sharp script. We don't need any of this. And before we start, we need to add two namespace, which is using, it's going to use Unity Engine, Excel.AL Foundation, and also using Unity Engine.Excel.AL Subsystems. And first of all, we want to have the uh, public AL Raycast Manager. I'm going to name as a uh, Raycast Manager. And then we need to have the object to Raycast to instantiate using the Raycast. So game object, object to place. And we need to select the camera when you're using the, uh, the Raycast. So public camera, AL camera. And we'd like to collect the hit points of the uh, AL Raycasting. So we need to have the uh, list of AL cast hit point. We want to call it as a uh, hit is new AL latecast hit. And then we need to do the same thing as usual latecast. Screen point array. And this time we would like to use just input mouse position. There is a, another way to do the AL raycasting, which is using the touch. But in here, we'd like to use just mouse position because it's going to be act exactly the same. So input mouse position. Get mouse button is zero, which means when you touch your screen, Lake cast manager, hit the lay point, we're going to have the instantiate the object. That's the idea. So lay cast manager, lay cast. When lay hits the point on top of the uh, trackable type, which is planes, any planes, AR planes we're going to make. We want to have the uh, pose. We're going to instantiate object place on the location of hit po hit pose and hit oops, rotation. 
that's it and save this and I would like to make the empty object which is AL latest place and attach your C sharp script to here we need to attach each object uh, the AR raycast major is inside of AR session origin so attach that object to place we'd like to have the one cube so I'm going to create the another cube size of 20 centimeter and I want to make it as a prefabs we don't need this anymore and then attach your object to object to place and the AR camera which is inside of the AR session origin right so let's attach that uh, let's turn off the main camera the old old setup is done so let's save it player settings let's change the name AR latest and then let's build and run so after it's done, you will see AR Raycast app over here. And then you will see that it's going to create some planes when it detects the planes. If you click it, you will see your object is going to pop up. 